Uh, so the question was asked of uh, Jimmy Haslam during that media availability. Did he have any idea of how many games um, Deshaun Watson might miss this year? And given that it's 11, uh, a good chunk of the season, would he do the trade again? I don't think we had any way of knowing. I don't think anybody knew how many games Deshaun might miss. I mean, we didn't know until definitively till today, okay? I think it's important to remember Deshaun is 26 years old, okay? And is a high-level NFL quarterback, and we're planning on being our quarterback for a long time. Would you make the same deal today, and if so, why? Yeah, I'll take that one. Yes, we would. And we mentioned at the time that um, you know, our process was thorough. We felt like we made an informed decision. Um, understand why others may not have made the same decision that, that we did. Um, but we do believe that Deshaun has strong, positive qualities. And we do think that um, you know, he's done everything in his power to integrate himself with our team, done everything that we've asked. And we do believe that um, as he goes through the self-improvement and self-growth process, that he has the opportunity to make a strong and positive contribution to our team and our organization. With that, let's welcome in Quincy Carrier. Quincy, I know you you listen to it. Um, I know you you have some thoughts on it. You have some. There is clarity now. It is 11 games. Um, what? Nothing that I heard surprised me. Anything that you heard surprised you? Nah, nah. It was really just a repeat of what they said in the first press conference, right? Um, and I, I, I think. It's interesting to hear the reactions to this as it happens in the moment because we all kind of understood when the Browns traded for Deshaun Watson. He probably wasn't playing for week one, um, and there was a possibility, a small possibility, that he could miss the whole season. Now, nobody was saying 11 games at that point. It was like more or less six to eight games that people were guessing. Um but yeah, yeah, the question of would they do this trade over again, I think is an interesting one because I think even if he was definitely suspended a year, they would do it because long term, if you're talking about what's best for this football team, um, it's having the best quarterback that you can have. And he was the best quarterback available to the Cleveland Browns this year. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to know that this suspension whole all thing is just going to be over with we know what it is it's a agreement between two sides they cannot appeal there's no more appeals we don't have to worry about federal courts we can all take all the law jargon we learned over the last six months and just throw it out because we have no more use for it so I, i'm for i'm happy for that you know the the uh, are you surprised that the that the nfl came to that agreement and was less than a year i mean when when we heard Roger Goodell, you know, it was a year. It needs to be a year. It leads me to believe they yeah. really, they didn't really want a whole lot of that federal court being the league. Well, again, you know, we, we play this game all the time as fans. When, we, when our GM says something, right, the general manager says something. But we know that they're going to act differently, right? Because it only makes sense for them to act differently. Same thing with this situation, right? What the NFL was saying publicly and how they were operating about this suspension behind closed doors were two different things. Um, what they were saying publicly was they wanted a year. What they were trying to negotiate with, with, uh, with Sue Robinson was 12 games, right? That was the report. Now we get to this point, and now it's 11 games here, right? So the NFL feel like they can win something. The NFLPA feels like they walk away, and they can win something. So, you know, it, it's one of those situations, you know, it's kind of like when Andrew Barry stood up there like, oh, no, we're like we, we're fine with Baker Mayfield, like two weeks before they traded him. It's like, yeah, we understand you have to say this because that's what you want to put out there. But we, we have also evaluated how you are at have been moving on this and how the NFL has been moving on this has been in the direction of they probably want him to miss like, you know, 10 to 12 games. 